What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're in Plymouth, Minnesota and we're getting ready to walk through a beautiful home called the Fremont. So let me get you outside. I'll tell you all about it. All right. Ooh, yo. This home, there, there are some homes that I just walked through and I instantly love. And there's so many new ones that we've been seeing lately. I can't help but love them all. This one is no different. The Fremont is from Stonegate Builders and it features five bedrooms, five bathrooms, a three car garage, a spectacular kitchen with the biggest island I've probably ever seen. And all of this sits inside of approximately 5,097 square feet. This home is approximately $1.8 million. With that, let's get inside and see what all we can find. All right, here we go. I hope y'all are ready for this one. This one is, uh, this one's nice. I like it a lot. But uh, this is your view when you do a first walk in. Definitely got uh, some division happening in here, uh, which is nice. But let me go ahead and turn you around real quick. Let, you sh let me show you <laughs> uh, the foyer right here. So you've got the stairwell going up to the second floor and then one also going down to the basement, nice little sitting area in between the stairs. And then of course you've got the double front doors right here going out into the front yard. And then next to that on the left hand side, you start getting into, now I think this is the only dining room. So this would be like your formal and normal dining room if you're not eating at that gigantic kitchen island, which we'll get to in just a little bit. Tons of space in here though, uh, nice big light fixture. I like the fact that uh, you've got that column right there, which like I said, really separates everything up, uh, divides it up really nice. And it's kind of cool. If you're looking around, you see the two couches right here kind of blends in with the, uh, the trim work. And I think that's really, really nice. And then from there, we flow into the living room got these really nice big windows, some beams going across the ceiling, great big light fixture, and then a nice fireplace with some bump outs on either side so you can put some decorations in there, some cabinets, some shelves, uh, whatever the case may be with a little extra light coming from those windows on either side as well. And a pretty big fireplace surround. It's got a little bitty hearth down there. And then, are you ready for it? This kitchen, I think this kitchen makes this home. Cause it's almost like, so you, when you first walk into the home, it has one feeling, right? It feels a certain kind of way. Um, to me, it's almost like with the wood trim and stuff, maybe it's a little bit modern, maybe it's just my personal taste, but I feel like it just, the colors give it a little dated feel to it. But as soon as you leave the foyer and the living room, it changes. Can you see that? Like it's, it's weird, it's different, but I love the kitchen and it absolutely makes this home for me. Now, granted, I have not left the main level, so I don't know what anything else is like, but for me personally, whew, this kitchen is where it's at. Look how big this island is. Holy goodness. So tons of seating space. That's why I said you don't even need, this is your breakfast table, right? I love this little, uh, shelf right here. I think that looks super cool. Like plenty of room for prepping. I love the color of the cabinets in here as well. And then you've got some fun pendant lights, almost like little flat pancakes up there. And then along the back wall, nice tile backsplash. I like that. It's going all the way up to the ceiling with these fun little pendant lights on either side. They're not pendant lights, but just like little sconces. And then a cool color cabinet down here as well. You've got the trash can drawers. Nice apron sink looking out into the backyard. And then the dishwasher. It is, I don't know if it's, it's hard for me to tell. Maybe it's the lighting. I don't know if it's a gray or a green. I'm not sure, but this right here, this is kind of my favorite part. I love 
this range hood right here and the combination of like the, the chicken wire shelf look. I think that looks super neat, especially with like the gold looking chicken wire. That's, I'm gonna call it chicken wire. If there's an actual term for it, y'all let me know, but to me it looks like chicken wire. And then uh, you've got the backsplash, which just kind of seamlessly starts wrapping up the wall. Got a little pot filler right there. Some nice pot and pan drawers. Panelized refrigerator, that looks super sharp. That blends right on in, check that out. So you've got all these cabinets and everything and then you wouldn't even know other than, you know, it's gotta be somewhere, right? But that looks awesome. Then you've got the built-in microwave and then a nice big buffet right here. Double ovens. And then on either side, you've got these two archways that they kind of wrap back around to each other. But you've got kind of like a little mud room area. Now this does have a butler's pantry, but I'm gonna save it for just a little bit so we can kind of just continue moving around. I don't want to be bouncing y'all back and forth too much, but nice little hall tree. Kind of another fun green color. And then next to that, you've got the door out into the garage. And you'll like this because once you do bring your groceries in, you're not real far from either the refrigerator or the butler's pantry itself. So that's nice. And there's actually another little room in there. I know I'm, I should probably just wait to show you before I talk about it, but uh, that could probably be used for more like a dry pantry as well, just like extra storage. All right, in the garage, all I see is you've got the electric panel over here and then you've got a little attic access right there. I don't see anything else. Ooh, a little sneak peek of the butler's pantry. <laughs> but I figured you could always use this since you've got the hall tree, but, uh, for like maybe some extra storage for groceries and stuff if you wanted to, but I don't, every Minnesota home has been having this extra thing. So you've had the hall tree and then like a giant coat closet. So I would imagine that like y'all's, y'all gotta come in here and shake your coats off and dry them off and stuff. But then as you work your way down the hall, fun little light fixture right there, super fun wallpaper. You've got the toilet and then the single vanity. And this just kind of, this hallway right here wraps behind the, the butler's pantry, which sits right behind the kitchen, just to kind of give you a, a little idea of where we are. And then you've got this other archway right here that leads into this fun little pocket office, which I like. I, I mentioned this in another home. It was by a different builder, but they kind of did the same thing, just a little bit different. Um, instead of having the big office spaces, you've just got like a neat little workspace tucked away somewhere, which is neat. I like that a lot. And then you wrap back around where you can see the kitchen. You've got an outdoor patio space. We're going to go ahead and finally we'll get into the butler's pantry real quick. So kind of a cool looking pantry. You got the beverage chiller, some more fun tile and then the light fixture up above that just a little prep sink and then tons of i almost i almost would rather just call this a wet bar than uh than like a butler's pantry because there's not like any shelves for any dry goods or anything anywhere so i feel like it's just a a wet bar that you could utilize for socializing events and you've got access out here onto the patio where you can go inside and fix yourself a drink and come back out i don't know let me know what you think about that uh in the in the comments would you would you consider that a butler's pantry or would that make more sense as like some type of no, it doesn't actually have to be a bar you know i understand that some people don't drink but uh if you don't partake what would you turn that into but then out here on the screened in porch fun ceilings i like the wood you've got this nice stone fireplace right here and then access out onto a little little porch maybe this is like where you put the grill or something 
see if I can unlock it real quick. And then you've got uh, your stargazing access out onto the roof, which would be nice for that eclipse. You just kind of hop the rail, walk right on up there, lay your towel out and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And then you've got the stairs down into the backyard. I'm not sure if there's a walkout basement or not. I would imagine they've always had, every one of them we've been walking into have had doors, but I just don't want to, I don't want to say one thing and, and be wrong. So we'll just have to find out together, I guess. All right, now let's, I guess we'll, from here, we'll go ahead and work our way upstairs and check out the second floor. Interesting. There, yeah, there were, it was not one bedroom up here, right? It's crazy. Not even a guest one. But you've got this uh, stairwell right off of the front door. Ooh, some fancy looking carpet. And then when we get up here, we've got a nice little loft area little sitting area, maybe a, a reading nook. Or you could get rid of all of this and turn it into a, like a card table or, I don't know, I'm just throwing ideas out there. But you've got the loft and then as you work your way past that, down the hall a little bit, you've got a linen closet. and then a bedroom to either side. So this is the first bedroom in the house. This one sits up towards the front of the house. It's got a nice accent wall, fun little light fixture. The closet, it's actually got a window back here. Ooh, see, man, I should have came up here. Hold on, let me turn you real quick. I don't want to blind you flipping the lights on and stuff. Got its own ensuite. Toilet. And then the standalone shower. Ooh. The tum tum is going again. And then across the hall, you come into the second bedroom. That's a fun bed. I love that. Almost like a little fort. Got the wainscoting going all the way around. I feel like we've seen this wallpaper somewhere before. I don't remember where. It wasn't in Minnesota. Got the fun antler chandelier. Giving it like a campy vibe. It's got the nice step-in closet. And then this room is connected to the next room via a Jack and Jill, which also looks like it's gonna be a fun room. So you've got the double vanities. And then the water closet. Got the tile, nice big tub, and then the toilet. And then all the way through here, we come into the third bedroom. It's kind of got some fun wallpaper back there. I think that's wallpaper. Yeah, pretty neat looking. And then its closet also having a step in. I feel like we're gonna have to, cause since now that we've got like parade season in full swing, uh, I'm gonna have to get with Jen and get like a list of ones that are upcoming and stuff. Or ones that are, that'll be going on kind of simultaneously. 
and uh, put like a little poll out where as a community, we can kind of select where we're wanting to go next. I think that would probably be pretty fun. And then all the way at the end of the hall, you've got this set of double doors right here, which open up into the master bedroom, which has this beautiful tray ceiling with the exposed beams. That's really nice. Great big light fixture. Fun accent wall. What in the world? What is that though? It's kind of cool, huh? Windows let in a good bit of light, like that. And then just off of the bedroom itself is the ensuite. Ooh, keeping with the beams in here. That's nice. Gives it, uh, oh, I don't know. I wanna, not really, maybe Tuscany, something along those lines. I just think it looks neat. But you got the double vanities, one over there, or one right here with the soaking tub in the middle. And then my favorite type of shower with the uh, little black stripes on the doors you got the tile going all the way up to the ceiling and then that nice river rock shower tray definitely a very spotty kind of ensuite i think and i just love the arches see doesn't it make like how crazy it is when you first walk through the front door and just that dining room area and uh, living room and then it completely changes. It's like you walked into a whole other house. It's wild. But then uh, this is the master closet. Good bit of space in here and you do have two points of entry so of course uh, we saw from the laundry room, and then you also have one from the ensuite, which makes it nice because we can just kind of circle back and head out of the laundry room. And then from here, let's go uh, check out that basement area. What are you thinking so far about it, though? You got a favorite? The kitchen, I think, is definitely my favorite. That's kind of I th possibly... Uh, the pinnacle of the Minnesota trip is that specific kitchen. Now, I've still got two more homes to tour and then before I leave. But I'm thinking, thinking this kitchen might have it. All right. So we've come down the stairs to the basement. The arches continue. We've got some understair storage that just kind of wraps around we're gonna hit up all the all the stuff right here before we get into all the goodies because i i'm seeing a lot of goodies around the corner you've got ooh, that's a fun bath like tile too that's nice so single vanity got the leather strips up there on the lights the toilet and then the standalone shower man that is nice, it kinda, it's like a wood looking tile. I'm a fan of that. And then this door leads into the utility closet. So you've got the furnace, water filtration, tankless water heater, All right, and then we shall pass through the arches. Ooh. That is fun. See, I would, I, I would not mind a simple yet unique looking, uh, like, cellar like this. I think that would be cool. Maybe it could have a false door back behind it. You push it open and then wham, into the much bigger one. But I like the small one like that. I think that looks cool. And then uh, you've got another living space. Man, this just keeps going. Another fireplace. 
another TV. I like that little built-in right there in the arch. I think that looks super cool. Y'all just wait till I turn you around. Whew. Oh, a lot of stuff happened over there. But you got a little bit of storage over here. Fireplace. I think this is a little bit different brick than what we've been seeing, huh? Then you've got the wet bar. Got the prep sink. I like this because it's just, you can get back here and the island just kind of wraps around a little bit or peninsula, whatever you want to call this one. You've got room for something else over here. And then you've got the sliding glass door, which could go out into uh, your back patio garden area something along those lines now we're going to go from here you can go into two different rooms we're going to stick over here that way we can all go check all that other stuff out together at last so i feel like a bedroom there's not a whole lot of surprises that can be found not in a basement bedroom there are some sometimes we can find them but uh i don't think so in this one but the next room who looking like there's going to be some. All right, here we go. What would you do with a Klondike, uh, with, uh, <laughs> with this room? So golf simulator, Man, I did ask if, uh, if they had some clubs and stuff. Unfortunately, they do not. So liability things, you know what I mean? But man, I could sit here and I've got two more homes, but I might <laughs> play around real quick, you know what I mean? But anyway, super cool space. Definitely uh, love it. Wallpaper right here is fun as well. But man, oh man. I could only imagine. You've got a little beverage chiller right here too. So you can have your drinks. You don't even have to go out there into the uh, to the bar area. So that's cool. I just wanted to, I was looking at these pictures real quick and these are other ideas that could be for these rooms. So you've got an indoor ice arena. You've got the basketball court, which we've been seeing a lot of. You've got the movie theater. You've got a gymnasium. Oh man, possibilities. All right, y'all let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. Whew, especially this island right here. I love this thing. This thing looks awesome. Thank you so much to Stonegate Builders for allowing us to come out here and tour this home. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to tour the home with me. I greatly appreciate it. And with that, I hope you have a fantastic day. My name's Timothy. I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.